How are you, Paul? How's it going? Great. Sorry, my chain's getting in the way. Don't worry about that. First of all, let's let's talk. First of all, I want to find out what were you thinking today going into this top nine? I was ready to go. I was ready to go. No hesitations. Just ready to go 100%. Yeah. You were surprised to hear you were in the bottom three, or were you not surprised? You know, I, I've i been telling everybody, I had this moment this morning with God, and I knew what was going to go down, and I was prepared for it, you know, mentally and emotionally, because this is only the beginning. This isn't the end of a career. You know, this is a platform where people, you know, get known, and like I said, this is only the beginning. You never can. You never can know what the audience is thinking. You don't, you don't know if it's song choice or you just don't know how the audience. You can't see your audience. I want to find out: Would you change anything about this experience? I wouldn't change a single thing. Not a single thing. Not a song choice. Not something I said. Nothing. Because there's a reason behind everything that I said and everything that I sang, and I stand beside it 100 percent. You wanted to do um, pop country music. I know you got some slapping the judges about it. Now that the show's over, you pay for tour. Talk about your music style. I still want to do country pop. I'm sticking to it. And, you know, nobody can ultimately tell you what to do. Every, nobody ultimately knows you. But once they know you and they understand you, they're going to be on board. I mean, there's no, there's no doubt, you know. Because if someone believes in something so much, yeah. it's going to shine through eventually. Going on the top ten tour starting this summer. What do you look forward to most about going on? You know, I'm excited to get back out there with the fans and you know have a good time and experience that and be on that live stage. It's going to be amazing. Yeah. You know, your fans they're called the Jollies, as someone told me on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I call them the Troopers, yeah. and and there's Jollies, there's Jolly Ranchers, you name it. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> I've been to see the support they're giving me on Twitter. I posted your interview and they emailed back and told me our team is called the So and So. Yeah. What's that support like? It, it, you know, it feels amazing to know that people care enough to take their time out of the day to even spend enough time to type something up just for me. You know, and even if it's bad criticism, at least they're talking about me. At least they're thinking about me, and I still love them just the same as the people that love me. <laughs> you got a plaque today. Your home, your hometown made a Paul Jolly Day. What does that feel like to hear from a small? It feels amazing um, getting all the support from my town. You know. It's a blessing, you know. It's very touching to my heart, and I can't wait to go actually see the plaque and read it, and <laughs> wait to hang it in my place. You know, it's going to be awesome. Now, as the credit to Roy and Mariah started talking to you, and she was telling you what kind of advice, or what was she telling you? Um, she was just telling me that she believes in me pretty much, and she thinks that I have the talent, and I need to push forward and never give up, pretty much. Yeah. What's, um, and what are you looking forward to next? And you said you had original material out there after the tour, acting scene. What do you? You know, I have it all planned out. I know it seems like I don't right now, but I have a lot of my sleeve. So I just hope people stay in tune, follow me, don't forget about me. Because if you do, I'll just remind you. I'll come for you. <laughs> I, I like your attitude throughout the show. you got a great attitude, and I like that you like the spirits and everything else. I want to say good luck to you and can't wait to see you on tour. Thank you so much. No problem.